skin tags meaningless annoyances or do they have a deeper meaning? Spoiler alert, they have a deeper meaning. Skin tags, medically also called acrocordons, are basically skin colored growths that form on the skin, usually in skin folds like armpits, groin area under the breasts, the eyelids. They often form in areas where there's a lot of friction. They're more common in older people and also in people who are obese or overweight. But what do they really mean? Now, a lot of doctors don't even know about this. Actually, when I was a first year medical student and I was working in the clinic with my supervisor, a patient came in and she asked him about these skin tags that she was having. And she asked if they were concerning, what do they mean? Should she be worried? And he just kind of waved them off and said, oh, they're just from rubbing and friction. Don't worry about them, they're meaningless. I remember going home that evening and researching them and thinking to myself, there has to be some reason these skin tags are forming. And I was right. So today I want to share with you what skin tags could be a warning sign of and potentially why you might have them. Skin tags occur when extra cells form in the top layer of the skin. They're skin growths, but they are completely benign. That's a good thing, meaning they won't turn into cancer. They aren't dangerous themselves and, and they can be removed with a minor surgical procedure in the clinic. But even though they aren't dangerous, they could be a warning signal of something that is going on beneath the surface in your body and that is metabolic syndrome. Now, what is metabolic syndrome? Well, that's the term we as doctors use to refer to a cluster of conditions that often occur together and contribute to an increased risk in heart disease, stroke, and type two diabetes. This includes high blood sugar, insulin resistance, hyperinsulinemia, high blood pressure, increased weight, especially in the waist area, as well as high cholesterol and triglycerides. So studies have shown that skin tags are more common in people that have these conditions, this metabolic syndrome. So that means they are more at risk of having high blood sugar, insulin resistance, meaning they could develop pre-diabetes, which then could develop into diabetes. So if you have a lot of skin tags and you get them frequently, that could be a signal that you are developing insulin resistance and you have high blood sugar and you should go see your doctor and get tested because you could potentially be developing diabetes. There's a lot of things you can do when you are in the pre-diabetes stage where you can reverse pre-diabetes completely with lifestyle changes, diet changes. So it's really important to take into consideration this warning sign. One study found that metabolic syndrome, hypertension, and diabetes were over 11 times higher in people who had a lot of skin tags. Also, some studies have found skin tags to be associated with high levels of CRP, C-reactive protein, which is a blood marker that signals high inflammation in the body. Of course, there are other contributing factors potentially to skin tags as well. If you have skin tags, it doesn't definitely mean that you have metabolic syndrome, but there is a link there with an increased risk. There is also a genetic component to skin tags, so it can be hereditary if it runs in your family, but it could be that a small percentage of people get skin tags because of a genetic component. If you see that it runs in your parents and your grandparents, that could be contributing. Also, if you only start getting them when you're older, it could be associated with aging. As you age, your skin becomes less elastic, less collagen and elastin is produced, which can potentially contribute to more skin tags. They can also happen in pregnancy because of the hormonal changes, more estrogen, and also because of weight gain. But you don't want to just assume that it is these more benign things. You definitely want to rule out if there is an underlying metabolic syndrome going on. There also have been a few studies that have found that skin tags could potentially be associated with acromegaly, which is a condition with a high amount of growth hormone, and also some association with Crohn's disease and colonic polyps. I have noticed that significant dietary and lifestyle changes such as cutting sugar from your diet, going on a low carb diet, going on a keto diet, going on a Mediterranean diet, basically a low sugar diet has helped people decrease skin tags. Please comment below if you are someone who has struggled with skin tags and noticed a change in the amount of skin tags when you changed your diet. And this makes sense, right? Because in some people's skin tags are a metabolic flag that something bad is brewing. And if you make those changes and you cut sugar and you improve your insulin sensitivity, that can help reduce a lot of that metabolic syndrome. Cutting sugar is one of the best things you can do for your health. It's linked to so many chronic diseases. If you are someone who eats a lot of sugar or your doctor has told you that you have prediabetes or you have diabetes, cutting sugar from your diet will have amazing results for you, not just for your health, but also how you feel. Oftentimes you will have more energy, your head will be more clear, you won't have that brain fog. There are so many benefits. Now look, I know it's hard. 
I would argue there is no bigger sugar addict than myself, but trust me, it is a worthwhile effort. So skin tags could be your body's way of trying to tell you that you might need to make some changes to your diet and lifestyle. Okay, I hope that video was helpful for you in answering what skin tags mean, what causes them, what they could be a sign of. If you found this video helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up, that really helps me. And feel free to subscribe if you want to get more health knowledge so you can become the best and the healthiest version of yourself. Let's do it together.